Hi guys, TJ Davis here, founder of Lipe365.com, and today I wanted to share some of my reviews and experiences with you um, regarding some baby carrier styles. Not specific brands, just baby carrier styles. So having said all that, let's get started. Okay, so my very favorite, and this is an actual brand, uh, my very favorite newborn infant carrier is this baby Catan. Now, Tate has graciously let me use her baby doll to demonstrate because this is the one I had when Tate was born and it fit me. Now that I have had timber and after I had a C-section, it wasn't the right size. So it made it very difficult for me to use it. Plus I lost it, which was a huge bummer. And by the time I found it, she was too big. This one is super cool. It's already attached. You don't lose pieces. The belt part has a nice little pocket. You can stick this in. This is the mesh breathable. So it is very lightweight and it is breathable. It doesn't get overly hot. Um, at this point, I would not wear Temper in this because she's too big. So I like this for the newborn, um, maybe up to 12 weeks, something around there, um, which is when I, about, I found it about eight or nine weeks, and then I tried to wear it with her, but she was too big and I was too big. You really have to get the right size because this is not adjustable. So when you're trying to pick a size of the baby Catan, they say you pick a size up from the size of your normal clothing. So at the time I was a size small, so I got a size medium. Um, by the time Timber came around, I was a medium. I should have had a large, especially after the C-section because stuff did not just shrink, you know, uh, back down. I retained quite a bit of water. Anyways, this is very easy. You can, now this little ring slides, so you can either have baby in the mesh part out here, or you can, if it's, you know, June or July, slide the ring onto the mesh part and put the baby in the full cloth part, which is good for the fall and spring and those colder months, okay? So anyways, you just, it's got the two rings like this, you put them together, and it comes with a fantastic uh, little book, which is what I've had to go back to repeatedly. Put both rings on like an infinity scarf. Now there's a top piece and a bottom piece. You take your left arm and slide it through the bottom piece. You take your right arm and slide it through the top piece. You now have an X across your chest. Okay, however, with the top X, you're going to slide it down over that shoulder. Okay, you now have this bottom piece. You're going to take your sweet little baby, and not by the head please, put your sweet little baby in here <clears throat> and this first one is going to go up in between the baby's legs and over this half of baby's body. Now, see, here is one of the reasons why you have to have the right size. When your baby is actually sticking out like a baby size would, this is me trying to slide this over my shoulder if my baby was sticking out here. It doesn't work. It squishes baby, makes a really unhappy baby. Trust me, I know. So make sure you have the right size. If it is, if it's just you cannot get your arm up over this thing, you're going to have to go a size bigger. This will not work if it's not the right size. Always go a size bigger with this thing. Always. Um, so you pull that second piece up through your over your shoulder and it also goes up in between baby's legs. Now the best part, if this was an actual size baby, um, the best part is of this, you can see baby's head right here. This is fantastic when they're newborn and seriously this would have been the best thing for me to have during registration and I didn't because I lost it and it really sucked and I was really mad at myself for a good eight to 12 weeks. But anyways, this is the belt part that I was talking to you about. Here's the little pocket so you can fold this up and put it back in there and then you can carry it around and hang it up in your closet so you don't lose it. Anyways, um, baby's rear end fits right in there and you just tie it however you want to tie it. And however, you know, strong you want to tie it. I just double knot it and that was it. You fold it out 
over baby's bottom. Again, this is not to scale, but you know, if it was, that's how it would be going. And to me, this one is very comfortable. The size was right. You can adjust, you know, these shoulder things. You can pull them out here if that's more comfortable for you. You can pull them up tighter if that's more comfortable for you. This one also would work pretty well for nursing um, because you do have the extra things. There's a bunch of different positions that you can use this one. Um, you can do a, a cradle hold, which is perfect for nursing. Um, so you can kind of use this as a ring sling. I think, again, this is fantastic for, you know, newborn to eight to 12 weeks. It really depends. And it could be if you want, you know, to go a size up when the baby gets bigger, if you're in love with it, which is probably what I should have done. But, but she started having more control over her head at that point. So what I thought, bye baby, I'll put you over here. What I thought at that point was that I would go with a ring sling. Because I really wanted to find something that I could nurse baby in while I was carrying baby. This, I don't even know what brand this is, uh, Balboa Baby. This was not my favorite at all when she was little teeny tiny. I ended up wearing this at registration and I should not have. It was a pain in the butt. She was too small for it. I had to keep checking her every five seconds and I had to hold it open. So, I mean, you know, she was a week old. And so she fit in here literally like that. That's no bueno. Baby needs head out so she can breathe, which is always fantastic to have a breathing baby. Um, so I had to just hold her. So why even have this if you're gonna hold the baby anyways? That's what I wanna know, anyways. However, now that she's bigger, and you uh, will see her in a little bit when I do the other carrier, but now that she's bigger, I like this one because, let's see, she is six and a half months old now. Okay, so now that she's bigger, um, I like this one because I can just literally throw this on when we get out of the car. If I have Tate with me and Timber and I just need to go in the store for one thing. This is for that quick trip where you're either just going to carry that little hand basket and you need to have your hands free. Or for those trips when you go into like a baby consignment store and they don't have buggies that you can set your baby in. So this is great for that because it is very quick. Slip it on put baby in it and there's a couple different little positions you can you know put baby in if baby's sleeping you can recline baby like you would be cradling baby to sleep um timber likes to sit in it like literally she sits her rear end in there almost cross-legged and you know her inside of her body is tucked on the inside of this so she's not falling out um so she only can use this one arm and swing it around and stuff because the other one is tucked up against me. But you know, she has her head out here and she likes it for the most part if it's a quick trip. If it's not, this thing gets really heavy really fast and it's super uncomfortable. This ring up here does not fit me in a great spot. So again, super uncomfortable. For my height, things are just really hard to adjust. If I let this go any more to where I have more of this padding, um, then she's hanging down here, which, you know, slumps you over and it's not good. Um, so, good for quick trips, but not all day use. So, I like most people, I also decided I would try, I'm not kidding, I bought all of these and tried them for a little while because they worked for a little while. Okay. This thing is so confusing. This is the baby Bjorn. I got this on consignment. Thank God I didn't pull, pay full price for this thing because, see, even now that I'm looking at it, it hasn't been that long since I've used it, but this thing is so flippin' confusing. All right. Holy, what is going on here? All right. 
So here's what happened. Let me see if I can figure it out this way. All right, that's easier. Hey, guess what? Put the back straps on first and then clip everything in. There you go. Problem solved. That does not make me want to keep it, though. All right, so there you go. This is easily adjustable. Um, however, it is extremely, for me, extremely uncomfortable. So for Halloween, uh, I put timber in it and we went down the block, literally one block. It was killing me. They say, you know, you can adjust the straps to where it's more comfortable. Well, for me, where it's more comfortable is down here. So her rear end is, you know, right at my belly. But then I can't kiss the top of her head because it's sitting down too far. It does have nice little instructions on the inside here so you can see where baby needs to be. This is not comfortable for me at all. It hurts. Everything back here begins to ache and I can't stand it. Again, like I said, it's super confusing to try and put together. It is not quick at all. Um, Timber didn't seem to mind it very much, but I did. I didn't like it at all. I did not like this one, especially for being short. Um, I tried just doing this, keeping half of it together, so that I wouldn't get super confused, because obviously the baby born shows in the back. I don't know. I couldn't. I just couldn't make it work. So, if I put this down and come back in five minutes, it'll still super confuse me, so. Okay. What I wanted to do, uh, this is what I read all the reviews on when baby was brand new and a newborn, was the Moby Wrap. And you see all these fantastic pictures. And they're so cute, and supposedly it's so easy to nurse in, and you can go from infant to toddler, and you can wear it on your front, and you can wear it on your back. Have you noticed I'm not even taking this out of the box? Let me tell you why. This doesn't work <laughs> for me. There is about 8 million miles of fabric, and um, it's super cute, but it's not lightweight. I was sweating like a pig just trying to figure it out. Uh, I don't know if I'm too short, too small, too skinny, um, too aggressive, too impatient, um, too vocal, too annoying. No, no. It didn't work for me. So I gently folded it back up. I put it in the box and I was going to return it. I never did. I put it in my little cabinet and uh, yeah. So now I have it, still. So I decided I'm going to do a giveaway on this. So watch for that video. And um, on this video, hopefully I will remember and put the uh, dates down below and how to enter. But um, yeah, uh, so I'm gonna do a giveaway on this one because it is not used. It is basically brand new. I did take it out of the box once. Maybe if I would have spent more time with it, I could have figured it out, but seriously, this one's not for me. Uh, I personally would never recommend it for someone who's kind of on the shorter side. I just think it's way too much material, but whatever. I don't know. I'm, as you could tell, I'm in a quick, easy, um, get the carrier on, get the baby in it, and go type of situation. So that's that. So this one right here, this is the Tula. It's a bit expensive. This is the, I'm not exactly sure what they call it, the uh, Grow With Me Tula, maybe. Um, so this can go up to toddler sizes. So you can start out teeny tiny and then go up to toddler sizes. It has this fantastic hood, which is great for um, keeping the sun off of baby and also for nursing. I used this one when we went to SeaWorld and I spent, I think, five hours straight wearing this thing while Timber took a nap. It was cake. I walked all over SeaWorld. The only reason we ended up stopping and taking it off is because it was late afternoon. She got hungry, I got hungry, and we both got hot. Um, this is a little bit warm. It was probably... 75 degrees that day and so the two of us 
we got a little bit warm but again that was the end of the five hours and i walked all over SeaWorld wearing this thing so it was great what i love about this thing and it's so funny because i always put it on wrong i put it on like this and can you see i anyways i'm a nerd still trying to figure out how to use it but okay so you always go pattern side facing out like that and it has a one snap in the back and then it's got these fantastic padded shoulder straps right here i love these things they are so padded and it is so comfortable then it has this adjustable clip strap in the back so you can pull this up or down so it's going to fit you either higher up here if that's more comfortable or you can pull it lower down here so you just put your straps on put your, well obviously you got to put the baby in there but anyways that's how quick and easy it is um, to put on I'll show you with a little baby timber let me grab her Place the bottom of the baby firmly in the seat. So you have a nice hold there. Pull your straps up like this. This one can also be worn as a backpack. Um, and I did that for the first time the other day. And she loved it. Now, this strap is really hard to adjust once you get baby in it, so I suggest adjusting this prior to putting baby in it. And also, um, <laughs> it's really hard to adjust for someone short like me. Like, I, there's no way I can adjust this now. Just no way. I would have to take it off and adjust it. Um, anyways, your shoulder straps are here and just pull them snug and baby should form an M so for you know proper hip alignment and all of that so her baby's rear should be firmly in the seat very secure this thing is so comfortable I love it and um, yeah it's fantastic and then here's your little hood and I nursed in this thing at SeaWorld which is something I didn't think I could do but I did um, and it was like my first time nursing a carrier. So I went to the public restroom because we had to go anyways. So I was there. So I got her all fitted on me first. And to do that, you just loosen that shoulder strap. And if you were doing the right side, then you push baby over onto the left side. Um, I always go shirt down. It's just the easiest thing to do. So I go shirt down and then I kind of pulled on this strap just a little bit to keep her snug, put up the hood, and nobody could see anything. I walked around SeaWorld like that, and it was 20 minutes before I told my husband even. I was like, hey, I'm feeding the baby. And he was like, oh, seriously? I was like, yeah. So it was pretty awesome. Um, and then she fell asleep, and it was great. So this is the um, Tula Carrier, and I really, really like this one. Trying to put this one on as a backpack, though, is, um, a little bit complicated definitely need some practice doing it as a backpack I was able to sit down on the couch uh, yesterday and put it on as a backpack which is helpful when you're at home but um, when you're out in public which I have not done um, you put it on front and then swing it around and I don't know if I'll be trying that anytime soon it might just I might just wait until Tom is with me and do the backpack that way but she likes it it's very comfortable she's totally chill the first couple times we put her in this one it was you know um, she wasn't like super thrilled about it we've never been able to do a whole lot of baby wearing because I never had the correct kind of carrier for me this one I looked up a lot of reviews um, and it got a lot of great reviews for people who are shorter I'm 5'1 and so the fact that this one has so many adjustable options 
was really the key. And then this hip belt um, that fits right on your hips nice and firmly and distributes the weight evenly without putting pressure on your back. Phenomenal, phenomenal. Definitely worth the money uh, for sure. But again, it's so hard to pick a correct carrier. And as you have seen, I went through so many carriers. Uh, but this one, I'm sticking with this one. We love this one. It's very comfortable. And again, like I said, it adjusts until she gets bigger too. Uh, yeah. She might be going to take a nap in it now. Well guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.